Okay. Shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakak Wadash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and salutation you Akimata that's pushed his word in truth and sincerity. It's going to be a real quick lesson, man. Getting into these sellouts. And Israelites that know they Israel and they leaders and they cause men to go astray. So they have sold out to the international bankers or to the Rosicrucians or whoever approached them with that Judas purse. But yet they no longer teach that Yahweh is the Heavenly Father and His Son name is Yahweh Shah, but they push that Jesus Christ doctrine, that Serapis doctrine. They say that the offer of the microchip is not the mark of the beast, it's an embargo or whatever madness they push. They claim that it's okay to be black identity extremists and some and even, when they put videos up, have shirts in the background marketing their product, man. So all these men that claim to be Israel but doing contrary to what Yahweh Shah said, hey man, y'all gonna get put to death, man. You're going to get put to death. That's why it says in Ezekiel 9 and 4, 9 and, um, 9 and, um, I think it's 6. When the Most High said, begin his sanctuary. Because a lot of you Negroes that call yourselves Israelites will get put to death, man. Because you're not teaching what the Most High said to teach, man. That's why Yahweh Shah, that's why Yahweh told the angel to begin at his sanctuary, man. It's, um, um, it's, um, yeah, Ezekiel 9 and 6, man. Where the most high said to begin that it's a slave utterly old and young. And at the end he said to begin at his sanctuary, man. So what do you think is going to happen to you Israelites out there that know you're Israel, that leaders of camps, and you're sell out, man, and you're teaching contrary to the doctrine that you've learned, man? You're gonna get put to death. You're gonna be right along with the two-thirds that's getting put to death, man. Right on the two that's getting tossed in that concentration camp. Because you was a howling. A howling is a man that takes, that do a job. He's not sincere. He that's doing the job for money, man. And that's what Nate is doing. That's what Alazar from the Sakari is doing. And any other man that's out there pushing way with false doctrines, you're doing it for that money, man. You got some of these Negroes that claim to be Israelites to have their videos monetized, man, for that money. Not sincere. So this is Proverbs chapter 28, verse 10. Whoso causes the righteous to go astray in the evil way, taking that purse, selling out, teaching that to offer the microchip is not the mark of the beast, is an embargo of Christianity. Teaching that that um, it's okay to, to identify yourself as being a black nationalist or as being a black identity supreme, I'm saying extremist. Leading the flock of the righteous astray, man. You may have a man being sincere, but guess what, man? The deceived and the deceiver are the most highs. So if a man had to happen to come across videos and he went across an IUIC video and he liked what he see, Nate having the fancy garment, the like the fancy garment, the costume jewelry on, and he get taken by that man, the most I had that man deceived. The most I let that man to IUIC page, man, to be destroyed, man. At least he be a part of the elect. It says, whoso back in Proverbs chapter 28, verse 10, Whoso causes the righteous to go astray in an evil way, he shall fall himself into his own pit. So be prepared to fall in your own craftiness. Nate, or shall I say Detective Nathaniel Ray, Alizé from the Sakari, and any other crackpot sellout that's teaching Contrary to what they've learned, man. Contrary to what they've learned, man. 
You understand what I'm saying? You're going to be the first ones put to death and you're going to fall in your own craftiness. You're going to fall in that own pit that you digging. You know what I'm saying? And you're going to be buried right along with your riches, that you, your, your FRNs that you received from Esau, the so-called white man, for selling out, man. You're going to die right along with the riches that you have received, them FRNs, because them FRNs is not sure, man. It's money. Created out of thin air. So you sold out for paper. For nothing. Babylonian money magic. Created out of thin air. So you sold out for nothing. So you yourself going to fall into the very same pit that you digging. For the righteous man. Leading the righteous astray. And you going to pay for it man. All the men that I've, that I've um, mentioned. Nathaniel Ray. Detective, Detective Nathaniel Ray, Alazar, Alize, or whatever you call yourself, Adonis, Delirious, whatever you call yourself, you're leading the, the flock astray, the righteous astray, and guess what? You yourself are going to fall in that very same pit, because you're going to get put to death. Pursuing to Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 6, man, when the Most High had that angel, that death angel, begin at his sanctuary, man. It says, but he shall fall himself into his own pit. But the upright, which are the, the one-third, the elect, the 144,000, shall have good things in possession. What they're going to have? This truth, man. Them good things in possession is this truth. No matter what, man. The deceived, they're going to get put to death, man. But the elect, is not going to be deceived, man. They're not going to fall in that category. In that category is being deceived, man, by one of these hirelings, man. Why? Because they're part of the elect, man. They're not going to fall into that pit. But the men that's out there pushing that bullshit, that false doctrine, that Serapis doctrine, that 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 Christ bullshit, knowing that you know the name, you're going to push that Christ doctrine, man. That's deceiving the righteous, man. But guess what, man? You're going to fall in that own pit. So, the righteous, like it says in um, the last part of Proverbs chapter 10, chapter 28, verse 10, it says, But the upright, which are the, the two, which are slacking, which are the one third, the 144,000, shall have good things in possession, which is this truth, man. So, with that, all praises once again to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Vakakwadash, and double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom.